Yesu, O Bwana, ni wewe, na tuimbe ni wewe, O Jehovah, O Yesu, ni wewe, Bwana, ni wewe, Yesu. O Baba, ni O Yesu, ni wewe, na ni wewe Baba, O Jehovah, O Yesu, ni wewe. Na imba ni yewe, ni wewe, o bamba, o yesu, ni wewe, na baba ni wewe tu, tomba yesu, ijulikari ni wewe tu kwenye madhabawa haya, atuna baba na fasi ya miungu, na buwana atuna na fasi za mashetani, wala tuna nafasi za maro zingine hizo bwana kupenyeza ikaluni hapa na kuleta mzaha ijulikane kwamba ni Yesu tu natawala haya madhabahu na shetani aibishwe milele maana hapa hana nafasi hivyo baba nimezima roho zote za utambuzi na nazima roho zote za kupotosha na nazima roho zote za unafiki na nazima roho zote za kuharibu kazi ya Yesu na nazima roho zote za kuleta migawanyiko na nazima roho zote na kazi yao katika jina la Yesu Kristo baba kwenye madhabahu haya ukatukuka naomba Yesu kwamba uinuliwe milele naomba wanaotumika na wewe hapo kawabariki naomba kwamba bwana hatuna watu ambao utafanya mzaha naomba Yesu palilia shamba lako palilia na ngoa magugu palilia na kungoa magugu palilia na kungoa magugu ondoa kabisa magugu wote katika jina la Yesu baba kwamba hamtakaa katikati yetu watu ambao ni wanaharibu wenye matunda machungu wenye matunda mabaya walio na maji machafu wenye chemichemi ya maji ya kuharibu baba unawapa watu nafasi ya kutubu baba wakatumia nafasi ya toba wale ambao kipindi cha toba itakuwa imefanyikana kwamba hawakutubu na bwana ukawatema uwateme na sisi baba ukatufanyishia kudumu kwa madhabahu yako tuma watu wa kufanya kazi tuma watu wanaoaminika tuma watu ambao watakuwa heri kutumika na wewe watume watu ambao watajenga tuma watu ambao watatutiana moyo tuma watu wanaojali huduma Tuma watu ambao hawana tamaa za dunia. Tuma watu ambao wanakutumainia siku zote. Tuma watu ambao wakoradhi kubadilika. Tuma watu ambao wanaheshimu toba. Naomba roho wako mtakatifu akatawala sasa. Kwa Yesu Kristo tuwaomba. Amen. The name of Jesus we pray. Tuweza keti eh, vizuri. Eh, keti tu. Uh, Ningelipenda kwa majulikana ni vizuri wakati mkubwa wao ameingia e, unakimbia kanisani. Haleluya. Yeah because umkutano wa leo ilikuwa imetangazwa kwamba atakuja kuonana na watu. So that when I come mnasikiza nini kwa tunafanya watoto wapewe mipira wacheze wakubwa wapewe moja wa medium wapewe wengine na fikiri mipira zote zimeletwa there were three balls. Do we have them? Then the small ones are given another ball. Then wacheze hivyo eh, katika hali hizo. Hallelujah. Then tuwe na wakati wa kuweza sasa eh, kusema one, two, three items. Hallelujah. Eh, can I have a building church? And that should be always be the case. Eh, not when I come, the water na potea. Now, ni mkutano wetu pia wa darura. Uh, you want to honor uh, pastors about to go hapa. Uh, Sometimes na unanga tukiwa na mkutano kule kuna watu wanakimbia town it is bad manners i've seen that one some of our pastors suddenly nafanya kutana kina baba they were scared they went for an emergency uh, it has happened before but uh, na unanga ni kama ni madharau pia na unanga ni kama ujinga uh, because uh, muda wa kufundisha inakwisha i mean we have all the time kufundishana so wa baba mambo tunafundisha wa baba ni ile wao wanandoa wazuri and so that one for men i think that should be passed on our wall vizuri sana and on our wall all pastors we are free to talk 
ukifundishwa kitu fundisha wengine adha itakuwa na ndoa ambazo um, wa baba hawajui eh, maana yao kwa wa baba so pass it so that some men can change pia pastors ukipanda mbegu mbaya utaivuna kwa kanisa lako so that um, tuwe na discipline hii madhabahu ni shule na ndio maana huduma hapa ni ngumu sana you may wonder why we are not like another church please elewa we can never be like any other church that is impossible sasa jejulie mapema hakuna siku tutafanya na kanisa nyingine maana hii madhabahu ni shule eh, kuna watu lazima wafundishike so kuna hiyo neema Mungu amenipea na iko kwa hii madhabahu so ukikuja unanyenyekea kubali ufundishwe ufundishwe uwe mwanaume mzuri uwe baba mzuri uwe mke mzuri uwe mama mzuri uh, uwe pastor mzuri uwe muhuduma mzuri so you come here for for training haleluya number two, haya madhabahu ni ni kisima cha maji ya uzima unakuja unakunywa so lazima mwenyewe kujiundia nafasi jinsi vile utakunywa ni itakuwa ni vibaya tukulazimishia kukupea maji it is illegal hata Yesu mwenyewe hajaye jilazimisha eh, kupea mtu eh, maji anasema as many as are thirsty come and drink hallelujah so madhabo haya kuna watu wanakuja hawataki kukunywa maji au utawalazimisha kukunywa so that means kuna watu watakaa na sisi wataondoka bila kukunywa maji then madhabo haya pia ni josho ni deep mali ukikuja unaoga bora tumekubali kuoshwa haleluya kama wewe ni msafi hakuna vile Yesu angekuleta hapa so watu nakujanga hapa watu wenye wanataka kuoga watu wachafu so hata mimi nakujanga kuoga haleluya so mungu ameniweka hapa na masabuni ya kuwaosha uoshwe ndio ikifika siku ya Yesu kuchukua eh ipatikane wewe ni msafi haleluya then madhabahu haya ni shule Uh, ya ku, ni shule ya kufundishika kuna mambo hatujui muhuduma kama ulikuwa unajua Yesu angekuleta hapa the fact that umeletwa hapa inamaanisha kuna ma, kuna elimu fulani mafundisho fulani ambazo unahitaji so you need to be very humble to receive haleluya eh yani, ukipokea utakuwa mzuri then i am the bow ni mahali ambamo uh, tunaponywa ni hospitali So you come here you are sick. Na mtu akitaka kudungwa sindano, eh, lazima ukooperate na daktari. Haleluya. Na hiyo hata wakubwa hata hata president anandanga hospitali. Ama mjaona president akina hospitali. Anaenda hospitali. So kina hospitali unaambiwa toa suruali eh, inama hata sijui kama sikizo na inamanga because me hospitali ni ni muda sijaenda. But I think uh, zamani ulikuwa na una inama ama unalala mahali ama unasimama lakini unakuambia usikaze makalio shindani itakataa itadunga nini itadunga mali mbaya so unakuambia relax your buttocks unadungwa shindano i don't know, I don't know kama bado you iko do they still do the same hata mkono wako kidunga unaambia relax mkono bwana asifiwe so ukikuja hapa kanisani pia you relax na unaja humble maana kutoa suruali yako watu wakuone uchi please eh, ni unyenyekevu so you do so ndio dungwe shindano so ni hospital so unaweza ombe ukaanguka chochote chaweza kutokea then hapa kanisani eh, pia ni ni training ground yani ni training ground ulidhani wewe una kipawa hapa kuna wenye una kipawa kukushinda na kipawa chako itawekwa on the test ukimulika wengine jua unamulikwangwa na hiyo nafanya hivyo because na maana mungu vipawa ili sitategemea manabii wachache eh, ku confirm kile ambacho mungu ananipea na pia kitambo kipawa chako dukuruhusu wende ukitumie kule nje lazima tumekufashia mtihani na unamulikwa mpaka tuwashie kwamba wewe oh, umechujwa kipawa chako italeta aibu haleluya So wakati tunaomba kwamba baba nafunga macho yote ya manabii wasinione ni kuuliza ni mgumu gani ataitikia maombi yako. So ndio maombi nasikianga na pangua na kuchafua because hapa the master ni mmoja. Haleluya. So jua kwamba kama ule nabii una kipao umepewa hapa. Jua kwamba huwa tunakupima na unapimwa na kuna nyonya kuangalia wananiambia wanakuangalia 
eh? unamulikwa na ikifika kwangu na angalia na ile yenye nilipewa Mungu ni kweli so katika aliyo you are being tested so that kitambo mmeenda kutumika na kipawa chako kule nje eh, unaaminika tumesoma wakolosai sura 4 mstari wa 17 saba inasema eh, ambiendi arkipo aiangalie sana huduma aliyoipokea katika Kristo alia na hakikisha kwamba ameitimiliza ameifanikisha amekitumia vizuri haleluya huduma yako ni gani huduma yako ni gani so hapa tayari kuna watu ambao mmepoa nafasi ya kutumika na in future pastors wetu wote tutawaingiza kufundisha Sunday school so that by the time unafundisha kanisa yako na minia watu Sunday school usiwe embarrassed watu nakwambia hawakuji utaingia Sunday school ufundishe peke yako then tunakupatia pia nafasi ya kujitega ndio upate baraka haleluya baraka ya Mungu inapatanga mtu katika hali ya kujitega you must be busy doing something katika hali hiyo unategea baraka ya Mungu bwana asiwe huduma ni njia moja kutegea baraka so kama unauliza Mungu Mungu kuna mahali naweza kutegea baraka yako that means Mungu unaweza nikubalisha mahali nitumike some of you should really even bother me can i serve god mimi hapa sipati watu kuniambia huyu apostle naweza tumika wapi umeona naweza ingia wapi hiyo ni shida sijai no one approaches me for that mm. but i thank god for ambao unapata mali you squeeze yourself you squeeze yourself especially volunteers na ukijiweka pale please uwe mwaminifu haleluya uwe nini uwe mwaminifu sasa number one, tuko na mambo za watoto ambao ni mtiani kwetu sauti ya bwana niliponena kuhusu watoto uh, na akapeana orders baadaye ilikuwa ni orders ilikuwa ni order na site na tea order mwenye ametupea order hiyo unafikiri haoni anaangalia tango for those volunteers wala mbao majitoa na umetikia sauti ya bwana mafanya vizuri na shukrani Mungu wale ambao wanachukua muda wao uh, I'm really humbled by Pastor Vincent being one of them bali kwa kwanza kujitoa hapa in fact the instruction ilikuja kama already ako kanisani na you know change his mind and uh, na shukrani sana you may not have such opportunities in the future kuna miaka ambazo unaweza tamani kutumika lakini <laughs> kila nafasi watu wameingia thank God for teachers wengine wote kina teacher Eugene who balances between ku individuality mtiani na kuwa upande huu pia na shukuru sana for those who want just to mention a few of us uh, some of them have had to run like pastor Kabiru maybe they came here he attend something kwa ya ofisi ya serikali then he comes back that is a honor never do something enye mkubwa wako hajui kanisa inasipofundisha accountability kwa jamani mtashindwa na maisha huduma iko na changamoto i must teach you maana nimepewa wewe kukufundisha haleluya kubali maana some of you pastors sitakuanga na nyinyi sitakuanga na nyinyi you will be having a church na hiyo church naonana mara moja kwa mwezi na hiyo mwezi hiyo hapa watu wamejaa mpaka utanipata nafasi ya kukaa na mimi kando inabidi tent hii tunaunda tent nyingine we are buying another tent kwa sababu watu wenye wanaenda kukuja hapa ni wengi ni wengi sana enye hizi tents zingine kwa naweka kando na ongea na mapasta peke yao pale asa imagine atupate time tunataka kuwa na pasta watu wapange laini mtaniona laini itaisha one week na mimi ni mtu wa jamani na kula nenda cho nataka kulala ninamke nina watoto wa jamani haitawezekana so make the most of the opportunity you have hii ndio madhabahu hii ndio kanisa yesu amesema anaitumia na ikipatikana zingine pia very good so sisi tutakuwa mfano wa kanisa mengine they want to learn from us maana eh, makanisa ambazo Mungu atatumia in the end times when they cover ni makanisa mapya makanisa nzi zimeharibika so you must be a good example hallelujah so hii kanisa It is just more than a church. It is a school. What as you need to need. I don't know what I'll call this one. We can only call it a mountain of God. Hallelujah. 
So wale ambao mapata opportunity ya kutumika wa jamani be faithful kweni waaminifu Mimi maisha yangu sijanua gari hii nilikuwa na magari nilipenda zote hata pesa ya gari nikaweka hapa Ninaonanga uchungu sana nitembee na gari kubwa hapa na watu maskini wako kanisani Naonanga ni vibaya sana that I would drive a car although nimekuwa approach na watu wengi we buy a car Naonanga ni uchungu sana wakati hapa kanisani kuna watu ambao bado hawezi kulipa rent ya manyumba yao So mimi nachukua pesa I divide Naka kwa kazi ya Mungu na hatumai kwamba fundishika na utokee haleluya there are some things ambazo wachana nazo so i am teaching people to be faithful na niwaambie ni ukweli mungu unilipa kila siku god pays me every day paka wanashangana baraka ya mungu god pays me every day paka na na huwa nalia kwa ajili ya baraka ya bwana ninalia machozi So he, <laughs> I can repair me I just take it back na mwaga yote kwake kwa huduma. Akinipea na mwaga tu kwa huduma. Barishita tunayo hapa tuko na watu ambao hawana hofu ya Mungu. They misuse resources za Bwana. Nisikize sana sasa. Because Mungu atakuhukumu. We have people among us as workers who are misusers of god's resources kuanzia kwa mavazi ya kuvaa mpaka allowances za wengine mpaka stima ya kanisa maji ya kanisa cho ya kanisa he mpaka quarters ya kulala ya kanisa mnafikiri yesu waone plus jikoni wapishi people misusing resources i've gone kwenda kuangalia maji maji ya mfereji nenda free bili ya maji ziko juu paka naweza abud <laughs> nani natumia hii maji steam unapata zinawaka zingine azizimwe paka nje paka naangalia Naangalia hivi tuote na shindo wa jamani. Ulikuja shule ya Mungu kufundishika. Inazafanya maombi yako Mungu asijibu for those of us who are stewards. Cho nimekuwa nikienda na chungulia cho. Nimeenda kwa malazi zenyu mavyumba. Kuna watu zile majumba watumia vibaya. They don't take care ya usafi wa majumba yao plus vitanda vyao. Hizo nyumba ni za Yesu. You want to beautify your house. But the house of God uionyeshe madharau. Hakuna mali iko kanisa. Anything that has entered God's house becomes God's property. Chochote ambacho imeshaingia katika nyumba ya Bwana ni yake. That uh, we treat it very well. Hallelujah. So nimekuja kuwatia ni moyo na pia kuwakemea. Yesu asenyakue kanisa na tukose sisi wote kunyakuliwa. Nawaambieni we may be the generation that might rapture Jesus. That might be raptured by Jesus. Maybe utakuwa 90, maybe utakuwa 100 years. Maybe utakuwa 70, maybe utakuwa 50, maybe utakuwa 40 years. But I don't know the timing. But one thing I'm sure ni Yesu alisema I'm amongst the apostles watumishi wale ambao wat, atatumika na yeye kwa siku za mwisho It was spoken through another servant <laughs> Ni kwani unabii kwamba wewe Mungu atakutumia siku za mwisho utakuwa amongst watu wale Mungu atawatumia Sahi naangalia usingizi nalia Mungu Uh, fasting 
naomba nalia kwa Mungu. Kilio chako ni kwamba Mungu eh, can my days be longer? 24 hours kwangu ni kidogo sana mchana. Je, inawezekana 24 hours kwa siku nifanya mambo mengi? Lafu usiku pia nifanya mambo mengi. So I'm asking God, make my day be 36 hours. And my night be 24 hours. Na kama nitalala 2 hours Mungu Yaani lale ile yenye nina ile yenye najumulisha masaa kumi ambayo ningelala ni lale yote nitoa was nikiamka amsila no more human being Nina vitabu yenye sijasoma Nina biblia nyingi ambazo nime nimekonga nikiweka za reference sijapitia zingine The books I was writing I'm not able to I'm not even completing the books because kazi ni mingi I've stopped writing books You know, I'm struggling between nipate muda na watoto wangu, mama yangu, ndugu zangu ambao sikiza wanipate vizuri, eh, except for my family nipate muda na wao. But again, nimeambiwa I have to train people. So naangalenga niko na vitabu nyingi, naangalenga my vitabu. Na shule nitasoma siku gani za vitabu. Because nazisoma pia kuji refresh na kupata nini iko ndani. Eh, ni wapatie ni nyinyi na watu ambao wanawafundisha ni mambo haya jioni you only have this time you may not have another time yenye Mungu atakupea nafasi kukaa chini unisikize utafanya hudumu ukilia unashinda uoi kama ningejifundisha hii because there are some things upopata saa hii ni sawa nimeenda kafanya mtihani ya class 8 lakini kuna mafundisho ambazo za class 3 ya huko pata akikuja kwa class 8 pepa utaanguka utaanguka na kuna mambo ambazo ukifundishika Mungu anazitumia ili akuingize kwa baraka fulani Bwana asifiwe so change your attitude be faithful yani kwa muaminifu na mafundisho zote ambazo unapata don't let a word pass you kuna single ladies ambao mtaoleka kwa hiyo huduma na kuambia ukishaoleka eh utarudi kwamba muda wa kusoma biblia hakuna kuna wanawake mtapata mabwana na si bwana atakuwa farao no majukumu za watu wanandoa ni mengi Unangangana kunyosha mtoto na kusoma Biblia. Some of you ask how you nanyonyesha watoto saa hii. Waulize ukwambie. Waambie. So katika alizo you need to be faithful with every time enye unayo. Tumia wakati ulio nayo. Kitabu cha Waefeso sura ni tano tunafundishika ile hali ya kukomboa wakati, redeeming the time. You're not growing younger any day. You are growing older day by day. Bana swewe. You need to read that book. Ya wa Efeso 5. Wewe soma yote. So that uamuke masikio ya simame. Waanze kujua hmm, mambo za jinsi ya kukomboa wakati. So those of us ambao wana waste time, kuna watu ambao pia wana waste wengine time. You are sabotaging That's why ukikuja hapa someone uh, don't allow mtu mwingine akuingize katika hali ya kuwaste time. Kuna watu wanaweza kufundisha vibaya. When you are here I'm the teacher who teaches others. Kama wewe ni mwerevu please sikiza uh, maombezi ya hapa na mafundisho ya hapa. Haleluya. Sio ya mtu anaenda kwa uh, pale kwa quarters anakupatia mafundisho tofauti na yale ambazo tunafundisha na hapa. Someone can sabotage you. The power can be sabotaged. Huduma yako can be sabotaged. And I also want to caution watu ambao you distract wengine wakisoma. Chunga kiboko cha Bwana itakupata. Tusifanye hivyo. So upande wa kuaminika na kuwa waaminifu. Ukiona kitu kanisani ambacho ingelefa kikatengenezeka, tafadhali kitengeneze look mtu muambie uh, like sasa kwa choza wa baba you have a toilet that leaks 
eh, choa kina mama kuna mlango ilivunjika eh, kuna watu juu kutumia choa wakishika hivyo wanavunja eh, ki once you notice something like that ambia matron kuna kiti imevunjika hapa isipofixiwa nyinyi wote mtaumia some of those things they are only fixed with 100 shillings but ukisipo report eh, inaleta hasara ya mapesa mengi sana inaleta hasara ya mapesa mengi tu Uh, bona swewe hapi dikimbia uliza wale waislamu pale kwa kiwanja what do they want in our territory wasaidiwe ama watoke mm. haleluya sasa kuna watu wananifurahisha sana wananipendeza sana na najua Mungu atawalipa lakini kuna watu na hurumia mpaka nasema wewe Mungu nitasaidia ni watu hawa Among us you very few people are grateful people. Very few are grateful. Hapo kuna watu ambao wana fionza tu. Kuna watu wamekuja tu kukamua. Kuna watu wamekuja tu nitapata nini? Kuna watu wamekuja tu yani it is me 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 me. Change. Badilika sana. Paka kuna watu huko wanaiba vitu vibeti za watu zinaporwa pesa hapa hapa kanisani kiweka kule nyuma wanapora imebidi tulete security hmm. so itabidi toke CCTV camera mpaka naambia Mungu siku tutajenga hekalu tutaeka hekalu ambayo eh, CCTV camera ziko mahali lazima tuweke watu wa kuscreen watu na tuweke pia screen machine nyuri kiingie na kupita na unaangaliwa 24 hours maana si watu wote wa safi wanakuja kanisani. Watu wajue kusema asante. Someone has done you something good. You can't even say thank you. Kwa majumba pale, umpata mtu amekuoshea nyumba. <laughs> you can't even say thank you. You have never bothered to know who clean your toilet. You have never bothered to know choo ni chafu si uvolunteer mwenyewe unalala pale. Si uoshe choo. Si uvolunteer uclean nyumba peke yako. Some of you volunteer wash hizo mashits. Wa jamani. Those are things in heaven na utafanya. Ukitoka hapo ulikuwa na shida ya mikono, unaenda utafanikiwa kipesa maana mikono yako ulitumia hapa. Haleluya. Unatumia hapa fieka nyasi vile leo na pastor Vincent ameenda akapalia maua. Uh, okota makaratasi. Bwana asiwe. Do you know that mimi nenda kwa choo sometimes taki mtanione na sugua choo zenu. Asa this anaenda kuonda kuosha choni kapata Simpros na Jacinta Palo ni vile walikuwa wamekaa nikashinda kusugua cho I just flash nikatoka Lakini kama munge kuwa he na ndo nilikuwa nataka nisugua hiyo cho maana iko nipendeza So nikapata wamekaa chini nikasikia very guilty nikasema wa na vile chakula inakulwa hapa sasa acha tunitoke But you know what nilikuwa nataka nikiingia kwa kila room I was fixing things na pastor Solomon I think anapatanga the hard part of me he yeah, ajaye pata the softer part of me nikianza duty pale paka wana hara si mbona nafanywe hivi why is this like this those who have found me in the rooms wananga si cheki na wewe mimi naonanga nikitembea na tembenga na Yesu hakuna siku Yesu amenuacha so i enter every place with Jesus So hizo vitu ambazo tunaziona ni kwa sababu watu hawajui excellence. Yesu ni msafi. Siku ya kwanza kutembea na Yesu nikaingia kwa kwa hii repair shop. Eh, hey, nikasikia roho bwana anasema mtu ingie. Kaambia tunaingia. Kanaambia ingia peke yako. Nilipoingia peke yangu nikasikia kunanuka au vundo mchafu. Nikasikia I'm so guilty. So it's like Holy Ghost and Abyss nilikuwa nakwambia If you want to work with the presence be clean. Usafi wako wa ndani wa mwili, kuwa msafi. Haleluya. Yeah, fact I'm nataka naomba Yesu aonekane kwa nyumba yenu. Some of you wanakuja ikasa kupima kama Yesu yuko hapa. Wakupima mtazidi kupima. Utapima tu but we are going forward. So wale ma pastor ambao tuko nao huko jifundisheni uaminifu. Be faithful. Kwa pesa, kwa masaa kwa vitu ambazo Yesu amekuaminia be faithful 
Mbona asiwe? Eh waislamu wameenda. Walikuwa wanafuta nini nyumba? Oh. So there are our neighbors. The man I compound hii. Na ngoja siku nyingine tumepata nguvu ya kuichukua yote. Yeso na watu na majitu wawili watatu kwa compound to G2. The compound yote siku meze. Some of them are helping us occupy the land. But usiwashe wao wakubwa sana watushinde na wasitubandike tabia mbaya. Wengine wamefuga majini. Hizo jini ni kwenda kuua. Intercessors wote this uh, kesho kesha. Ni operation huwa majini area. <laughs> Hallelujah. Eh, kuna kama Muislamu kamefuga jini mahali. Hiyo si ni wasiye muue. Eh, intercessors watano pekee mmetosha hiyo. Mnaua na ina tactically na hiyo story imeisha. Mimi niambie nikiingia kwa gate paka na kuna watu wa kanisa ya Ezekiel. Ezekiel ameleta vita yake kufungua kanisa nyingine hapo chini kwa mtoni. Na Jumapili mkikuja umevaa nguo chini ni red blood, alafu juu ni white. <laughs> Sema wewe, as the voice basi ukoje fisha tu kidogo vai white yote. Asa anavaa white pure, alafu watu wake wanavaa red chini na shati juu. Nile waangalia wanasikia wana misdirect watu nyo naingia huku. Wanasimama pale pembeni na wameza kumaga mafuta ngini chafu chafu kwa malangu. Iyo, iyo, iyo level ya kumagiwa mafuta chafu tulimalizana. Unakanyaga nge na nyoka, unamalizana. Hallelujah. Sasa yu intercessor za hapa ambao munafunishe na warfare. Tumia marisati yako vizuri kama badu kwa college hapa. Hallelujah. Ya ukonfab ineza uwa kitu. Iyo upanga ineza kata pepo. Hallelujah. Then ndio kenda pale nje tumesha kufanyia test 1 test 2 test 1 test 2 uko sawa. Bwana asifiwe. So intercessors wa hapa mjifanyishe mazoezi. So we be faithful with our gifts. Usichukue pesa ya mtu. Usikopeshe pesa ya mtu. Naambia pastors chungeni aibu. Tumeruhusu pastors wetu wote you handle money. Haleluya. Ya nimeruhusu pastors ukitumua pesa tuone kama utafikisha. Ukiaminiwa sadako fikisha hapa tuone kama utafikisha maana at one point lazima nitajua lipua kitu mkupewa. What are we teaching you? Kuogopa pesa. Yaani kuogopa Mungu uwe mwaminifu. Waombea mtu akikupea kitu, kimbia nayo please weka kwa madhabahu. Usikule. Maana labda ni mtego ilipangwa ikomalize. Eh? Haleluya. Kutumekuwa na watu pa kanisani. Others used to sell bulbs. Kuna watu wanaenda kuiba bulb ya kanisa. <laughs> yaani nikasema hii kanisa yenyewe kuna watu sampuli wote wanakujanga huku. Unapata bulbs hakuna. Mtaleka kwa mfuko aliaminia Mungu na kona hiyo ndio hiyo bulb ya kanisa yenyewe inawaka hapo. Ndio kona hii ndio Mungu amepeana. Yaani wewe sana mwenye naiba anaperemba ana maiti kwa mochari. Kuna watu ambao wakipata sukari imelalalala hapo kwa shelf ya kanisa na beba. Eh, kwa jikoni sasa inabidi lazima tufueke jikoni under lock and sabuni kuna nyona beba. Nimefanya huduma nimeona mambo. Takujua Kristo kamili wamekombolewa. Test them in two things. One, chakula. Two, pesa. <laughs> Lately, ya mwisho, toilet. Paka wengine, they don't flush the toilet. Yesu, you waja. Katika hayo yote, tunapimwa. Na washauri nyinyi kila mahali umepewa huduma angalia huduma uliopewa Bwana asifiwe Mwanaume ulepewa mwanamke a foolish man forgets that your wife is a ministry A foolish woman forgets that your children are a ministry Mwanaume mjinga anasahau kwamba mke wake ni huduma ni majaribu ulipewa ni kazi umepewa 
sasa mwanamke maandiko yamesema kwamba wewe mwanaume ishi na mke wako kwa hekima sasa hekima toa wapi tafuta hapa kwa Yesu haleluya tafuta wapi hapa kuisha na wanawake nawaambia ni ngumu ndio maana one man one wife zaidi ya hapo police disaster kama mmoja amekushinda <laughs> ati mpango wa kando kama tu mmoja kwa nyuma amekushinda please wacha kujitafutia shida stay with your wife haleluya yeah mungu alijua akasema one man one no, yaani hata kuotea mwanamke mwingine ni dhambi the emia thought ya kuwazia ama kuotea umeanguka then mwanamke umeamrishwa ume mpende na umnyenyeke mume wako it is not a favor for a woman a wife to be submissive to the husband it is an order from above so you train she hallelujah train yourself to be submissive kada is yes as itembe na wewe sasa mama wewe mke lazima watunze watoto wako na nyumba yako and that one i tell all wives on this hata kuna mnyama nipigia simu akanambia pastor apostle uh, please fundisha mke wangu kaambia na wewe uko submitted to who i rebuke that man on the phone kaambia please fundisha mke wangu amebadilika kaambia good na wewe ulibadilika lini Last time nilikuambia ukapata kazi unakunywa tu pombe. Unanywete tu pesa yote na mshahara. Kaambia mwanaume na gani kuja hapa nikuone wote mambo ya simu. Atijaona e bado sijui kama ako area. Hmm, bana siwe. Na the same way na ongelesha, is the same way siku nitapata ruto. Maana sio nataka nataka nasaidiwe. Nitamuongelesha the same same words. Siku nitapata Raila Odinga, jo nasikia unataka niwasaidie. Nitaongelesha the same same word. Hallelujah. Faithfulness. Sasa mapasta wengi wanaangopa kuniona because eh wanajua maovu yao. So, nyinyi ambao tunapatana, let us be faithful. Mwanamke ambaye hata anuli watoto wake inawea, kamisi, bra alafu ndako ngare na kanzo nyeupe mzuri umefanya vizuri lakini pia eh, tunakupatia etik plus eh, tunaikata mkia kidogo watoto wako waonekane wakishona kanzu kanzu yako bakisha kitamba ya watoto wako if you want to look presentable na unasahau watoto wako kama sasa tumesema watoto wote wakuje wasome kuna wazazi wamesema oh yeah thank you jesus wame abandon watoto huko si wanakula ah na si wanakunywa ah na si hata wanalala to thank you jesus now hiyo time of back na wewe unafanyia nini so ndio kana ukuja hapo washe vyombo <laughs> haleluya because we are training your children and we don't pay we don't charge you salary so be faithful over your children Biblia niliwapea hapa uh, free wapeni watoto vitabu tukanunua How many parents are reading the Bible and how many are following the study Bible the study study guide niliwapatia Please ni pesa ya mchungaji I bought them with my money Mimi kwangu sina pesa yangu tena ni pesa ya Mungu so I just took hiyo pesa nikanunua ile msome Biblia but so far I have a witness niliona niliona guide eh, niliona hiyo bible guide katoto kadogo kanachezea pale kwa kona maana mama yake amebeba amekuja na kanisani bible guide you don't bring to church <laughs> bible guide unaweka kwa study room yako biblia ndio unabeba haleluya nikaangalia nikasema wa demana hata brochures za tupigi chapa tena you i saw my brochures ikipeano one brochure was 50 bob nikona kamekunjwa hivi Alafu ni kuna katoto kingine kana kunja kunja kakichezea na mama yake yako na yeye. Nikaangalia huyu ndio nyanga na kunja kwa picha. Nikakufa moyo ku print any more brochures. Because watu hawajui kudhamini hata vitu za Mungu. 
Sasa upande wa Biblia, are you faithful? Maombezi ya watch hours, how many of us are faithful? How many? Watu nataka tu waposa waombe. Watu wakiwa peke yao, hata wenyewe hawajiombei. Na watafuti uso wa Bwana. Na ndio watu ambao kama usome Biblia sana, eh dhambi itakujaribu sana. Wasomi wengi wa Biblia unapatanga moto ambayo inakuepusha na madhambi. You are conscious of God and you shall detest sin. So upande wa uaminifu kwa toilet za kanisa, tishu pepa tuwezi kuweka kwa muda. Unaweza unapata zina yani zile zinafanywa nikaangalia tishu pepa. Nikashangaa paka ingine na nyeshewa na mvua ikiweko pale nje kwa mlango pale sikamwe yuko ndani socket na switches za kanisa zingine zinaharibika tunashinda watu hawa <laughs> wana mikono ngumu aina gani paka inaribu socket na switch ni kuto kuwa na uaminifu upande wa upishi wa jikoni zetu ningeanza ningetahadharisha sana watu wanaopika kwa jikoni mko kwa moto wa Bwana maana Yesu mwenyewe ametembea huko akaona jikoni yake watoto wake ndakana wakule pikeni vyakula kulingana na hesabu za watoto kama itabaki eh isibaki ile ya ku waste Mani na baki mnakula pia mnashindwa kumaliza. That is serious. Na hapo ndiyo hekima watu ambao umepeanwa kusimamia mapishi. You unapima kama nyumba yako ukipika hata kibaki chakula isibaki chakula kingi sana. Sababu kuna watu ambao wanaweza sema nimeamka sema nasikia njaa. Asijua hapa labda pia kuna watu wanaweza sema oh siku shiba pe haleluya na of course mpishi pia lazima ukule lakini kula baada ya wengine kushiba wewe ndio mama mzuri haleluya wewe ndio mama mke mzuri ni mke ambaye bwana yake itakana akule ya shibe do you know zamani vile twaliishi miaka ya zamani mwanaume wa nyumba alikuwa anakula kwanza na ashibe mpaka mwanamke anamwambia yeye oberana umeshiba mpaka anaangalia tumbo yake yeng mara dir ndio maana unapata baba alikuwa na kikombe inaitwa kabur some of us remember that one ka kama uje maana yake nimekukumbusha ni kikombe kubwa kama jug akitonga uje one wewe <laughs> mwanaume atarudia ile So, yule ni kikombe ya nani ya baba pia alikuwa na kiketi chake yenye akishiba sana na kalia peke yake kiketi ya nani ya baba alikuwa na sahani yake special how many of us remember those ones wa jamani wengine amjui ndio maana ndio wazenyu zinaharibika mwanao mapewe chakula na tushana na mtoto bwana asifiwe kama wanamke lifanya hiyo please and repent. Wacha mwanaume akule eh, mwenyewe abakishe. Sasa unafanya mwanaume wanaume hao wanawadanganya. Anakudanganya sweet miss kulangi sana. Na kuleka kidogo kidogo. Muangalie mbona mikono yake ni kubwa. Wanakula hapa kidogo alafu ukaenda kwa hoteli. <laughs> Anajua kwa namba ya kwa kukulia. Lazima kule uka alafu anakuja kwako anadanganya na mekula kidogo is because wanaona aibu hataki ajue na kulana ujue yeye anakula sana nina miaka 25 ya kufanya huduma ya kina baba na huduma ya ndoa na kwa mimi najua siri zao so mwanamke mwanaume akula so zamani mwanaume angekula kwanza ashiba akishashiba mpaka akunywe maji basi mke wake analeta sasa chakula anapeleka sasa chakula ya nani ya, ya watoto na yeye plus so mwanamke angekula na nani na watoto anapokula na watoto pia anaangalia vile watoto nakula watoto wa shibe pia nakula juu juu wakishamaliza ndio mwanamke alikuwa nakula upendo wa mama 
Furaha yake ni kwamba kila mtu ame shiba. Bora baba ni prova. Hmm. Do we have teachers who do the same for our children? I hope so. I hope I really hope lazo kule chakula alafu nasikia kuna watu wataka kushiba kuna mtu wataka kula so nasikia ile chakula imekula kwa tumu nasikia utoe upee mwingine akule maana uta feel very guilty ulishiba kabla watoto wote kukula so nasikia wa na nimeweka kufanya hivyo kwangu then mtakamuka usiku so mama baba nasikia njaa nikasikia hai lazima ile chakula libaki mimi ni clear peke yangu nilikuwa nasikia si ubakia ingine kwa ajili ya watoto i learned in my house kaboni kitamoni maliza samaki mmoja peke yangu eh nimefikiria kwanza haleluya huyo ndio baba so sijasema sasa hivi wao wana sijasema sasa sasa hizi wanawake mwanzi kujitesa hapana as long as their husband provides so we are transferring the same principle kwa kufundisha watoto pikeni chakula ambacho kitawatosha watoto wote alafu wapishi sababu najua kwamba tumekuwa mlimani kauliza wapishi mtabala sana gani bisi kupiga na kukula nyenye kama utapika chakula na uko fasting na usikule eh hey! kwambia wewe ni super wewe ni super utatest mimi na nini na mapua orobo uta test na mdomo nafu ya test na mdomo bia niko na test cha close ndio kwa tumbo yangu so i know that you have to eat the food so cha kule pikwe yenye pia wapishi mnakula bila kukumbika bwana asifiwe but make sure kwamba there is no wastage mpaka nilikuwa nimesema leo hakuna shopping ya chakula until nipewe inventory ya kile mnanunua you don't go cook so much then you go pour it away but that's been kwa kuna watu hapa hawa tunaweka kwa quarters wakae vijana wetu sasa nikaenda kwa dustbin nikapata ugali kubwa sana nikasema nyinyi watu hiyo ugali nani alitupa ati ah ilikuwa sijui nini ndikoona imekaa tukaamua tulikula alafu tukatupa <sighs> nikasikia uchungu did you know kwamba kuna miaka mimi niliokota ugali na nikakula ugali litupa kwa shamba ilikuwa saa saba. hizo ni miaka zangu za utotoni na jirani alikuwa muuni akapika na stove chakula kizuri akakula sasa leo nakula nasikia taarifa ya habari mtangazaji alikuwa Leonard Mambo Botella saa saba kamili iko na kujanga na sauti yake basi ana kula akafurudisha mlango na dishi ikakaa wazi akakula mimi nasikia torofu ya ugali na mezeo kula nje hmm. then kidogo nilikuwa namemwaga maji nje ya mlango kwa shamba ilikuwa ni nyumba za malandi ye yeah, number three sisi number one alafu kilichofuatia ya pili ni ugali ikafuata pia ikatupwa pupu kwa shamba I don't know that niona familiona ile ugali nikainyemelea nikaichukua ili bringika na ina mchanga nikachukua first assignment kutoa ile mchanga nikachonga nikatoa nikachonga nikatoa guess malikuwa naichongea ndani ya nyumba yetu mama na baba wakukua na hiyo ugali ilikuwa ugali ya eh inaitwa ilikuwa kitu wa jogo ile miaka so he's a jogo hey mtumish you've come at the time that i'm not yet finished my apologies <laughs> i love to pay your fuel returning you back to town and back just go and then uh, i'll attend to you sasa nikaokota ugali nikaichonga vizuri nikatoa mchanga na ilikuwa bado ni ugali warm nilikula vile alikula kwake <laughs> nilikula vile alifanya lili tulienda draw <laughs> tulienda mala alinishindia 
yeye alipika na yeye alinunua unga na alitolea jasho mimi mali nitafuta ni kuangalia na nikaipata nika spend the effort ya kutoa mchanga kui ku clean ugali i leave the memory kwamba hatutupangi ugali enye mkaonga kitupa ugali na sienga uchungu sana so nikishi maisha ya ugali kipikwa ikibaki tuna recycle so the time tukajifundisha kwamba cook food kulingana na your stomach Les Mungu ata complain. Munatupa ugali na kuna watu wana njaa Kenya hii. So our kitchen there should not be any food kwa dustbin. Pakuleni watoto chakula kulingana na kipimo chao. Utamaliza. Akisema eh, pe. Mtoto mdogo sana usimjazie sahani. Maana mtafutishe watoto kwa walafi. Hallelujah. That is being faithful. So jikoni watu ambao wanakemewa alafu wanasema sitapika huko tena. Oh. Au utapika tena? <laughs> Utapikia nani kama uzipikia Yesu? Ukikemewa kidogo wacha kufura fura. If you are a volunteer, volunteer but stick to the rules. Hallelujah. Stick to the rules. Serving God is a privilege. Ukipewa kutumika na Mungu huo ifurahi sana. Ndiyo maana mimi kutumika na Mungu is better than being a president. Ni kitu sasa hivi ni compare ni onyango tunakuita tukufanya ambassador. Mara ngawa. Mimi serving Mungu hapa is the best call. Maana kutumika kama ambassador ni mwito wa wanadamu. Kutumika kama mtumishi wa Mungu hapa ni mwito wa kiungu. Ndio naonanga between me and uh, huyu king ama mfalme. Naonanga mimi niko mbele. Naonanga mimi nimepewa majukumu mazuri kulika imana yangu is a spiritual calling yake is physical Sasa ukipoa nafasi ya kutumika na kuambia furai <laughs> Haleluya tumika wanadada ambao mjaoleka mwanao mabata kuoa akupate kwa mwito akileta kinyoriro unamuzanga ulinitoa wapi Haleluya alikutoa kwa baba basi baba na kutetee So use the minister mapewa vizuri. So those of us ambao mnapika ni makosa kubeba chakula ya kanisa upeleke kwako nyumbani. It is very wrong. It is theft. It is corruption. It is wickedness. Chakula cha Mungu kanisani imalizie pale. Hallelujah. Zamani meza ya Bwana kishapeanwa ilibidi pasta ikule unakula meza ya Bwana yote kwa tumbo yako paka ishe Hallelujah <laughs> Auruhusiwi kuiwacha yaribike you take all of it tukiunda meza ya Bwana So kule sometimes na baki meza kingi sana itabidi nibebe hiyo na ika hapa na kaa na ikika hapa na evaporate because ya sukari So nabii ni ngangana nao nyumbani kunywe ni malize ni malize kwangu but zamani aunge chakula ya kibaki hapa hata mana from heaven yenye Yesu alimunga lisha na wana wa Israeli ungeeka tutakula kesho atuja ni bebe hii tasaidia na kesho <laughs> wale pate na geuza ime inageuka na wadudu so hapa kanisani kitchen kubeba sukari ya kanisa kubeba unga kubeba mafuta, kubeba maandazi, kubeba chapati na kuficha nyama ama kufanya hivyo ni dhambi. Kama ulifanya hivyo, you must repent. Usivutie ghadhabu za mguu kwako. Haleluya. Kama kuna mtu alikuwa analia njaa hakukula na wewe ulikuwa ushakula umeshiba, pia ni dhambi. Confirm watoto wote wameshakula alafu waukule wana siwe ni sacrifice mjifundisheni training do kuna weaknesses so nimewaambieni kama ulifanya hivyo huko jua so nimekuambia don't enter god's judgment god is counting on you mungu anakutegemea ana amejua kuna mtu nimeweka apikie watoto kuna mtu nimeweka aoshe cho kuna mtu nimeko pale aoshe nyumba ambapo mimi Yesu nikitembea na pata ni safi that is jesus so tuweni waaminifu wala ambao uwezi kuwa mwaminifu 
uh, too bad but question is uh, wakati ule volunteer kukuja ulikubaliana na Yesu ama mkukubaliana na ndio maana acha kutisha tisha mimi naweza enda naweza wacha wacha hiyo hiyo ni utoto umepewa mtiani god is testing are you faithful mungu anakupima je wewe ni mwaminifu wale ambao wanafanya shopping ya kanisa you are being tested about your accountability keep a track chakula kabla ya kuisha umeangalia na macho kapima hii kipikwa mara mbili <laughs> itakuwa imeisha before you quit requisition i'm an accountant na nilipita accounts vizuri sana and i've practiced accounts so kuifanya because litiwa it was just one of those who unafanya just to keep yourself in check sijaye andikwa nayo kazi but i did it because nilikuwa nasoma na wahindi <laughs> na ilikuwa ni lazima tufanye accounts so it favored me because i was a businessman in school so one of the things to lefundisha ni to budget you make a provision no the budget tunafanya estimate eh hiyo ni kitu mwanamke mungu amekupea nafasi ujipime mwanaume ukimpelekea budget list yako ya budget unless hiyo mwanaume si kama mimi tunachukua anga list yenu wanawake tunaichanja chanja kitungu 30 ya nini we explain 20 nyanya 50 ya nini naangalia nasema 30 maka gorogoro mingi ya nini na fidi mbili tatosha please it is kwa iko kwa dna ya mtu mwanaume na hata kiokoka ibadilikangi ah bwana siwe ndio maana ukisha grow na sio mwanamke wako mambo na jikoni hiyo mwenyewe afanyange peke ya mi bora chakula imekuja kwa meza sasa ni nini budget hata Mungu pia ukimwandikia chenye unataka please be accountable. Ukiitisha vitu excess mbingwa itakubali kukupea. Eh winyo macho chelea chela ayalo. Sasa nilijifundisha kwa Yesu mimi nilikuwa napewa 50 bob katika safari yangu ya huduma. Naambia nyasai 50 yawa. Nakwambia nikajifundisha ku survive na 50 nilijua mali sukuma inapatikana ya tenbo na nilikuwa na kushop peke yangu si kwenda na mke wangu na kuja nazo ndio hizi sema eh nyanya mbili ilikuwa five bob na nilijua mali penye nyanya tatu itatoka na five bob haleluya nilijua mali penye sukuma inakatwa mingi ya tenbo nikajua mali penye makaa ya tenbo inaweza kuja kama ya 20 Nikienda shopping mtaani naingia vichorochoro. Jamaa anafanya shopping. I'll make the most out of 50 bob plus bado iko na tithe. Ya hiyo 50. Nijua mali pa kutunua makaa ya kuokoa. Haleluya. Alafu mkate pia nanua mkate yenye ikipatikana na minibus watoto wa kuleko na blue band ya kadogo. Alafu napaka one side na mtoto anakula so akikula unaangalia wana kula wana meza my joy watoto wangu wakicheza na watoto matajiri wako the same sita kwambia tulikula mkate nyinyi mkukula mkate wangu anawaambia sisi pia tulikula plus na bibi haleluya my joy was watoto wako wakicheza na wengine pale wasijisikie kwamba daddy wale wampika chapo na sisi atupikinge chapo i knew how to make use kuna mali ngenua chapo zile za zile chapati zime chapati nyambamba nyambamba chapati za 5 bob alafu na kuja na shtua na watoto wako kwa 50 bob then go graduated me niko na tembe alafu naambia Mungu sasa <laughs> imefika saa tisa sijapata do kabia god tafika nyumbani hivi then upepo inafanyika inakuja kalafusi Then nasikia pesa nimekusha hapo. Kalafusi imeisha imeenda. Naona mia. <laughs> na cheka peke kwa barabara bila ya sai. Nachukua hiyo mia. Imagine hiyo mia lazima ni pange vile nitaitumia. Then 200. Maisha ya imani. Haleluya. Maana ni aibu sana kubisha mlango wa jirani. 
kwa mbe nisaidia unga. Nisaidia kwa sukari kidogo. Utaubiria nani ukishi maja kama hiyo. Watumishi wa hapa ambao munakopa pesa kwa washirika. Stop it! Kabisa. Kama una transport, yesu watumane ndege. Aleluya. Yesu wafanya nini? Please ongea na yeye. Mimi nimeenda kwa bus stop na sina pesa. <laughs> Kambi Yesu niko hapa. Nilibebwa na gari. Nimai kaa kwa gari sina transport. Nikashua pesa wako. yako wapi 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 yango ikuitishwa nilinyamaza tu. Na si mara moja. Onyango uleka mguu kwa majaribu. Please kila mtu apime imani yake. Haleluya. Wanawake ambao bwana kwa pesa nyumbani wacha kukopa pesa kwa wanaume wengine you are becoming cheap if your boss ni mwanaume pia na kukopa pesa you lose utafanya utakosa raha ya mume wako don't borrow from another man haleluya ah menenyo ni ya kuhesabiwa endelea kuhesabu but mimi niko hapa kwa kazi Don't borrow money from your husband, I mean from your boss. Kama atakukopa ni ni ni, ni loan umeitisha in advance. But pesa yake ya mfuko never. Inafanya wanawake wengi mnakuwa washirati utaota na yeye ukilala na yeye. That one applies to wanaume. Wacha kukopa pesa kwa wanawake. I'm a trainer of men and me train sales women kama mungu ameweka kuhubiri he gave me enough brains bona sifiwe so our pastors wetu madhabahu haya pesa ya kanisa don't divert it alafu useme kwamba waacha sale yangu itakuja nitarudisha hapa so nitumie hii <laughs> jaribu uone utagundua pesa ya mungu na laana wakati umetume vibaya ndio miharibu meri wa hapa pesa ukitumua ya mshirika by your number ikufikie wewe ni ndege sawia na ndege yule ambaye alibebeshwa nyama eh? na mkate afikishia nani na bielija bwana asifiwe ndege alikula kwanza of all the birds ni kunguru Mwenye hata mzoga ngombe imekufa anakula. Anabeba ngo, anabeba mkate fresh na nyama fresh na haikuli na si mara moja. Wewe ni sawa na ndege huyo. Pastors be faithful na ile pesa umepewa. Isichelewe ilale kwako. Pesa ya Mungu umepewa is no spend in your house. By all means fikisha. Bwana asifiwe. Itakuuma sana fikisha ina majaribu Madhabo haya watu watumishi wengi ambao wameuma nje they were unfaithful with the church money Mimi nikitumwa pesa na mtu hapa seme hii ni love offering mtu fulani He Sasa ifanye mimi pastor mujuaji I pass it the way it is Hata fungu za 10 sitowi Then akwambia kwa hiyo pesa umetumiwa mafundisho nimekufundisha wewe lipa fungu za nini za kumi peke yako but here <laughs> kuna watu wajui i answer to god you answer to god as well but me i'm of your overseer haleluya hapa kuna watu wanapata church allowance imagine they don't tithe ni wezi church workers wanaan pesa ya madhabahu wanapatiwa because mandiki msema if you serve the altar you can do an allowance from the altar imagine hawa ni watu ambao ni kisima eh enye kiingiwa yani kisima cha mauti hawa ni bahari eh bahari ile yenye inanga nini outlet Hakuna maji wanawachilia. You are dead. 
Watu ambao Mungu anawalipa anawabariki. Then I will release mkono. Ah. Asianga uchungu sana watu kama hao. Paka naangalia sema kama Revelation Wisdom Ministries uweze fundishika, utafundishika wapi? Makanisa yanaharibika. Watumishi wengi wanaharibika. From whom shall you learn? Fungu za kume, mimi ilibidi nikikula tu bara moja, mbingu inajifunga. Paka naambia Mungu wewe nyasaye. Punishment ni kwa napitia, nakula fungu la kumu yani nasahau hata once. Bas, expect mchujo. Madirisha yote ya mbingu umefunga. Nikajifunzia kwamba kwa 50 natoa 5 bob. Alafu naongeza 5 ni my offering. Nikasonga mia natoa 10 bob. Shilingi tano juu ama kumi ni my offering. Nikasonga mia mbili natoa mbao. E, mbao wengine ya juu ni my offering. So nikasema let me be generous a bit na pia Mungu 50 bob. Nikasonga 500. Kuhubiri kwenda mahali alafu ni nifanye mission alafu nipewe 1000. Hey, was a miracle. Bado ndio kwa tajiri. Utajiri wa Mungu sio kubahatisha. You must work for it. Na watu ambao umepewa huduma kanisani ni mtihani. Haleluya. Kama hizi screen mnaona hizi screen. Kuna mwanamke alimbua, uh, "Apostle, Mungu ameniambia ninunue screens mbili." Na yule mwanamke ni maid. akaituma akaamini mgo akaituma alipofikisha hiyo pesa iliponiingia tu hivi pa ile ni supermarket na si pesa kidogo i don't know ni 100 sijui ni how much sijui ni 100 and what thousand nikafika tu hivi nikaambia hizo tv ziko wapi i had to transfer that money immediately hizo pesa ukilala nazo unasikia eh unaweza nunua shamba eh Naza nua boda boda. Eh? Naza lipa nao mahari. Ita faithfulness. Sasa si Mungu amenisaidia. Eh, pesa ya Mungu, yezi ya Mungu. Yaani kila kitu ninayo kwangu ni ya Mungu. Hata nikipeana have to account why am I have I given it? Sometimes my wife can eh my kujikosa vitu fulani kwa nyumba yetu because ile pesa ninayo sijaruhusiwa na Mungu kukula. I went to the supermarket one time na pesa mfukoni kwenda kununua vitu ya kwangu. Nikasikia roho bwana analia, kaambia roho Holy Spirit analia nini? Why are you grieved? Kaambia toka kwa supermarket. Don't buy what you want to buy. I said okay. <laughs> Nikatoka. The next two days rent ya kanisa nitakika nilipwe ya ofisi. Na maji nitakani katwe na stima nitakani katwe. Hiyo pesa niliingiza huko mara moja kama ningelipa ngeno hivi kwa nanunua sasa nitakuwa okay <laughs> sitemi mekatwa Mungu leta Mungu roho bwana anaambia aliona mbele yangu kuna kitu inajitaitishwa itakatwa sitema sasa tutasema kakuja kaambia yeye muzitini nalipa sahi hapa 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 sikujua mume tarehe imefika the same na watu wa maji haleluya so my need was postponed ningoja siku nyingine ndaka nifanye ni shopping so i don't go to supermarket for sasa huku watu muweni waaminifu na pesa ya kanisa. Haleluya. Be faithful you are just but a steward. Mungu atakuinua. Mimi uta Mungu amen. I always believe I'm the richest man if I want to be Nairobi saa <laughs> hii. I'll be Nairobi. Whether by air or by whether by air or by, by hewa. Hewa means naweza na nambuli Nairobi. If God wants me in Nairobi, I can go kwa airline and nataka nenda Nairobi. Na nakata tikiti na pesa inakuja na sijui nani nataleta. I just know God shall provide. Ndio imani na operate na if I want to be in Nairobi. Naambia watu of flight, can I have a seat? Na napewa seat bila kulipa pesa. They know that pesa will come. So someone may end mpaka nakumbuka wa siku lipa tikiti ya ndege then i just pay it it's a faith kama utakuwa mwaminifu mungu atakuonyesha mwaminifu 
If you are struggling with finances, please, ni mutiani. Pita mutiani. Hallelujah. Pita nini? Be faithful with your vision. Be faithful with your dreams. Wacheni kujishirikisheni vision zenyu wenyewe kwa wenyewe. Shetani anawatega. Hata wapata. So you don't want that one. Wala mbao umeshafanya kufika huku. Ni kuna tahadhari. Kuna watu wamekuwa na sisi hapa na Mungu amewatema. Dino kuna watu hapa bado mna uhusiano na hao watu. So what the Holy Ghost ananifunulia ni uchungu sana. Kwamba watu hawa neema ya Mungu iwezi kanda ni hao maana unajishikanisha na chachu kwa simu. Hey, hey, hey. Please if you don't change Mungu atakutema nje. Kama Mungu amekataa mtu kwani wewe ndio zaidi ya Mungu ni watu wamepewa nafasi watu wakakataa watu ambao wanasema kinyume na madhabahu wanaongea kinyume na mimi kuna watu walikuja hapa wamechapa kuchapa wamesadika kanisani huko then they are now talking bad about the ministry ukikamo lwai kula matoleo ya Mungu kwa kava hii Uli, utenge kwa laana wakati wewe unaanza kuongea kinyume na madhabao hiyo hiyo nimekuwa mikono kasaidika then unaongea vibaya kunihusu wachungaji watoshani utakuwa tasa you become barren mbingu inakataa kujibu maombi yako because i'm a principality nikisimama kwa barabara yako utapita wapi na wale ambao unajua Mungu alikupatia huduma ufanye hapa. Na kuambia <laughs> usifanye juu mimi unanifanyia. I never called anybody to this ministry. Siku kuita kwa huduma. Mimi tu ni kuhani umepewa. Serve God. Ishia Yesu wako. Haleluya. Ishia Mungu wako. Na wale ambao unasikia kana kwamba woi. Hmm? Kuna vitu hauna. I know your provider. It is Jesus who is your provider. Hallelujah. Seek him. Not ambao wako hapa mguu ndani, mguu nje, mguu nje na kuambia please kuwa na akili. Choose to be at one place. Maana hata shetani pia anachokanga na watu kama hawa. Kama shetani unaona ni bora kwako fuata yeye, na kama Yesu ni bwana kwako basi kana yeye. And that one goes kwa watu wale ambao wewe ni malaya wa kiroho tuko huku tunaamini Yesu mmoja na ya bado kuna watu wale walienda una communicate na wao mba maandiko ya kuita wewe ni malaya na hatutaki watu karibu huduma if you must go go quickly go what go go quickly hata Yesu aliambia <laughs> aliambia Judas Iscariot aliambia what you want to do do quickly hey, i love jesus i love who Nakuwa napiga story na Yesu naambia eh hey, Yesu yao. One time Yesu akanitembea kwa bathroom nilikuwa naingia kuoga. Nikasikia taka kuoga lakini nikasikia nimesalitiwa na watu. I was feeling down and very discouraged. Kasema Mungu, hii rapture hii itafanya kasi gani? I'm getting tired. I pray for people wanapata muujiza. The next thing hawakutaki wewe hata mimi mwenyewe pia wanaona kana kama mimi nitakataka so nikaambia Yesu hii hali niwache huduma ya do I abandon this ministry ya miracles signs and wonders nibaki tu mubira wa kawaida preach the word sorry Yesu Yesu akapia mara moja nikasikia he akaniguza mabega kwa bathroom nilikuwa nimejishikilia mahali nasikia ni kama nataka tu kuanguka kwa bathroom kaambia my servant hata mimi walinifanya hivyo what they are doing for you they also did it to me they never appreciated me wanakusaliti mimi walinisaliti so Yesu akikuanglesha one word huwa ina inakuwa kama mfereji ni kama computer when Jesus speaks to you ni kama computer kibonyeza hivi one uh, one program inafungua other programs Then kasa usikia naongozwa na mambo mengi sana what he meant don't abandon the ministry continue 
then the second one akaniambia akaniambia zile muujiza ambazo wanapokea na ishara ambazo unaziona itakuwa sababu ya kuhukumiwa kwao hey i felt comforted I say hey so in other words wewe fanya huduma unyatatumia muujiza vibaya ni shauri yao maana hizo 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 eh, muujiza na ishara ambazo una, wanazipokea itasimama kwa ajili ya hukumu yao itakuwa ni ushahidi nikaingia kuoga ah nikaoga kama kuna huduma ambayo inavunja watumishi moyo sana ni huduma ya muujiza na ishara I pray for women wanakuwa na mimba <laughs> the next thing au waonekane sana naomba watu napata kazi the next thing au kuji kazi au kuji kanisani kanisa inangangana na bills na hao walipata mshahara kutoka na hapa they don't pay they don't pay their tithes mm. nina nasikia na wewe so wala ambao unapokea hapa anything from the church coffers for shopping for ministry be faithful be be faithful kwa ni waaminifu mtapata utajiri utajiri sio kuwa na pesa mingi kwa bank kwa account kwa mfuko mm in fact you look at me kama kuna pesa nayo kwa mfuko hata sijui shilingi ngapi i don't know nimeanga pika kwa mfuko yangu hapa but i'm self sufficient na between now and kwenda nyumbani hizo pesa zaisha kwa mfuko between between now and reaching home depending on who god brings my way and what the need comes my joy ni wakati tuna watu ambao wanahudumu hapa and they can lay a meal on their tables for i am ni kwamba eh watu wale ambao wanahudumu hapa unaweza jiwekea eh, chakula kwa meza so you come here battered na ndio maana lumbasi eh, ilitabiriwa kwamba ataondoka but alikuwa mpumbavu baada ya usiku unabii amesema hapa baada na anaanguka ya ukweli kambi wewe majio umewasikia tele wewe uko hapa nikaanu utaondoka as to whether he was shaken i don't know because he did not take uh, opportunity to repent kwa farm kwamba niko hapa hiyo warning naomba Mungu ibadilishwe i've changed my mind i'm staying watu nyolikuja kama maisha yamewachapa yeso kawatengeneza wanaingiwa na ujinga kama yanania na safira mtu akosa nange na Mungu hao ni watu ambao hapa ndio oxygen yao kuishi unakata line yako ya oxygen sasa utaishi na nani utaishi na nini uwe ulidraw life bila watubu <laughs> naingia kichaka na kuna watu ambao wako na wivu wengine wakipewa huduma mtu akipewa huduma anasikia hey we are threatened sasa He was demoted from being a pastor a praise pastor. Eh? Arudi kwa nini? Arudi kwa line yake kufundisha watoto. How many of us know kwamba Lumbasi was actually he is actually a Sunday school minister. Na mtoto mdogo alikuwa na roho bwana akamwambia aenda huko. Kulika time mmoja akapewa huduma. Akaikata. Anaona in demotion. Ningelikuwa yangetumia kama njia moja ya repent ana Yesu ndo anashusha watu na nainua wana wake make sure you put your husband to account on how he serves god that's a good wife mwanamke ambaye bwana yake anavunja sherehe za kiungu lakini yeye pia you don't question your husband why are you doing what you're doing kama bwana yake anaenda kombo ambie Les hukumu yake ikukule wewe pia. Na maana mambaye ujali vile mke wako anatumika na Mungu pia. <laughs> Utalipa because your wife is subject to you in fear of God. Hallelujah. 
So ona watu kama hao. Mungu anasema tatoa watu watatu kwa worship team. Ama watoa maji watoa. God never lies. So tujifundisheni. Huduma hii kuna watu mtayonanga kwa TV na mtakuwa mnalia mna regret. That's kama utaondoka. Utakuwa unalia majuzi maana unaibu nirudi na utasema nini. Next year we are on TV because tulikuwa punished for one year na Mungu. Maana kuna watu hapa walikata kwa waminifu. Mungu akasema sasa mwende kwa TV discipline one year. Tunangoja huyu Ruto aondoke kwa serikali. Maana Mungu atamtoa yeye ni kizingiti. Huduma hii mnadharau hii. Hii huduma hii mnadharau. Some of you mtaiona kwa TV. Tunaenda mbali sana na Mungu. Sasa nikiuliza nani atenda Russia? Niangalia hapa sione wa kwenda Russia. Sasa ndaka na mtu akwenda Italy. Naangalia hapa sione mtu anaenda Italy. America ndaka tufungue huduma tena haraka sana as early as this year. No one is ready. South Africa ndaka madhabahu. Tanzania pasa wa Tanzania wanakuja. Uganda pasa wa Uganda wanakuja. Paka nasema wewe Mungu. Miaka yangu saa hii kumbe ungefanya hivi tu mapema. So mimi wala ambao watu wako tayari ndatumika nao wa kuenda waende wa kuanguka waanguke lakini mimi ni mafundisheni neno la Bwana tena sawa sawa but one thing i've never sold the gospel i have to say this one because kuna watu wanaonanga kama mimi nafanya mzaha they don't believe the word of god in this place believe the word of god linda huduma yako mali mga amekuweka make the most out of it Ukisikia Yesu amelalamikia makosa yako usichukie mtu take it upon yourself jirekebishe usiangalie kwamba wewe mtu aliniona mtu aliniwekelea chumvi ngine kanaokea pilipili ulinisemea urongo no waenda kwa Yesu mwenyewe iwe ni urongo ama ukweli confirm na ye. praise god safari ya kwenda mbinguni ni sio rahisi so for that reason nilibidi leo nikuje niongeleshe wote those of us who are here We shall have rules about our church quarters. Maana idadi ya watu ni wengi so we may end up kukubalisha tu watumishi peke yao kwa kwata za kanisa. Alafu uh, na partners peke yao. But bado kuna watu ambao si partners wakikuja hapo wanalala huko. Wanakuja wamechoma, wana mali pa kulala wanahurumia, wanaurusha huko. Wengine kwa rusha pale wana mashetani, mapepa wao wanagawia wengine. Eh, magonjwa yao wanaambukiza wengine sasa tunashinda wewe nyasaye so when we shall be building kwa hiki wanja Mungu mwenyewe atatupatia style of building majumba za watu kulala when we'll be building a church eventually tutajenga yenye intercessors wanajua vile utaomanga kwa chini bwana asifiwe bwana atukuze tena so Uh, mali nimefika na Mungu wa jamani siwezi beba mtu i can't beba mtu yote sitaki safari yangu iharibiwe wala ambao utakubali ubarikiwe na mikono yangu sawa wala ambao utaona uzibarikiwe na mikono yangu i don't know nani atakubariki but remember why you came to this altar bwana asifiwe So kila mtu alinde huduma yake. So far wale ambao mnafanya vizuri fanya e, Mungu akulipie. Kuna watu ambao Mungu ukitoka hapa vizuri itakuwa ni baraka. Ukitoka vibaya ni laana. Kwa sababu na ukitoka tunakubarikia tunakurelease. Unafungua huduma na hiyo pipe yako inanyonya mafuta from here. Ukitoka vibaya hiyo line na katika ka. Sasa nasikia sasa kina meria hawa. Hmm? Kuna watu napiga piga nao simu kumwambia bado kuja kuja kuja. Sasa mtu mwenye Mungu ametema atatoa wapi neema ya kukusaidia. Bala tubu ajirekebishe hapa. Yeye yeah, na suspect manabii waliongea urongo kumuhusu. Hiyo sauti si ya Mungu. Ah. Basi ya shetani ndio Mungu kwake aenda sikie. 
ni hasara kwangu maana i invested na kufanya meri kuwa mtu imani sasa anatokea kwa sura nyingine na sio wewe Mungu hii miaka yangu yote ni afundisho ni hasara sorry na matumaini kwa wengine <laughs> labda eh mwingine atokee awe mzuri ajazi ile nafasi but was lazimishi mtu kitu na ngalenga mapasta na kuangalia tu <laughs> na kupima tu mimi napimanga watu kwa muda sana but then his wisdom nilipewa nikapewa kipawa ya kupima watu moyo by the time robona anasema fulani wa fulani <laughs> please nita sasa juu kama mungu akwambie nisaidia najua nikapewa macho ya kupima hata wadada some of you kipawa nilipewa lakini kipawa ambayo inawachanga mtu na uzuni sana paka sometimes you wish ukuwa nayo lakini sanga ni wacha na uzuni ambaye mtu anidanganya anajua uchenya na mwenye anadanganya kweli like these boys ambao tuko nao hapa some of the sanctuary keepers sometimes na poto vile kanisa na vile mambo iko but i don't come accusing you huwa nakuachia muda because yesu pia alikaa na, na Judas Iscariot <laughs> na Judas alifeel kwamba yesu hajui kwamba ni muizi yesu alikaa na mtu kama Tomaso Tomaso alikuwa anga na shaka na yesu kina uko na kana ye. Yesu alikuwa na mtu anaitwa Petro. Ba alikuwa na roho imegawanyika mara ngapi? Na kwa na afili Yesu wako na jua. Please na wajua nyinyi wote kwa msaada wa Bwana. Na wajua wote. Chenye nafanya na kuvumilia ni that you may change and be a good person. bona siwe sasa juanga na kupima Vincent na kupima Pastor Moses kabla ya kupea huduma na kupima eh hey, atuwezi kimbia mbio hivyo kijana mdogo ni kupima na kupima wewe sipo boda boda wendesha hapo ovyo ovyo atunana nao nyumbani ukirudi tunakupima bona siwe na pima mapasta sana naangalia who is loyal naangalia sana juu hatuwezi kuwacha ufanye makosa love baada ya mnaambia onyango na unaji kuna watu ambao mnaambia onyango linaambia nibariki huyu fulani mwaka jana Yesu aliniongelesha na uchungu sana is it last year but one sauti ya bwana ikaleka na bwana niambie ni bariki watu fulani sauti ya bwana Yesu ambaye niambie ni bariki watu hawa kwa ajili yako nikawabariki sasa ona nika regret so I've been learning not to command a blessing kwa watu ambao hawafai blessing tena nifanya kuhudumieni mara mingine the love huwa ningepumzika nyumbani but i remember ni kuna watoto please let me go to them sijaenda america kwa ajili ya watu hapa eh nimekuwa na invitation sari 12 za kwenda duniani sijaenda sababu ya watoto wangu hawa kwa hapa some of them nyenye wanafanya ni siende wanatoka na sura ya nani ya shetani mpaka nasema wa but i hope nyinyi mtatokea sura ya shetani Bwana siwe watu wa Nairobi mjoko ni atajipeleka kanisa ya Nairobi haraka sana maana Nairobi tukifunga kanisa hivi pa itaja kuja itakuwa vigumu kujua nani mzuri nani mbaya so pastor ambaye ata mapasta ambao utadumu Nairobi lazima wewe uwe na moyo na roho yenye Nairobi pesa itakupotosha kwa nyota kuja kupima, kwa nyota kuja kuharibu, kwa nyota kuja kusabotage, kwa nyota anaweza kuja kuwa pasta, kuna watu wanaweza kuja sababu ya revelation wisdom, wakitafuta unyango wako wapi. So Nairobi will be one of the most challenging churches. Ambapo kitambo tufungwe, we must be so sure tunapea nani hiyo branch. 
Mombasa is a hard place maana Ezekiel na madhabahu yao kwa pale karibu. Yenye lazima mtu akwae na nini meno. Kaka mega sio rais. Ndio maana pasa mlanda kikaa mbaya sana na azul take the ministry. Kisumu. Eh lazima mungu aseme nani anaenda. Maana pale ma devotees ni wengi kuliko Eldoret. Wanawake wa Rembo mmoja ya Nyanza wanawake wa ni wa Rembo weusi lafu mngozi yao pota pota. Eh nakwambia pastor kama ukukombolewa kuanza kiuno kwenda chini we shall lose you. Hii kisumu hii. Sali migori salama pambana na watu maskini. Wao watu kihubiri sana watu wangi sadaka. Kama kuna watu wagumu sana kutoa sadaka, ni mtu jaluo na muluya. Hawa. <laughs> Hasa shida kikuya kileta sadaka kanisani pia ameiba. Unless yes amemkomboa. Sasa wajaluo na waluya injili wafikie. Ukombolewa uto ukaachana maroza umasikini. Then give God land. Haleluya. Pea Mungu shamba. Na pia Mungu pesa. Ah watu watu wangi kwa matanga na nasema haya muniandike jina sanduku ni yangu. Wewe ni mulia na mjaluo. Aya pesa ya matanga mimi ndanua mindi gunia moja. Kanisani hata sadaka kitoa ni mia moja. Jaluo gijamwa. They just wanted what to recognize kanisani hata kiketi ndio makanisa za area za nyaza na luo ni kan, makanisa masikini paka wale kanisa migori watu nu viketi kama mmenunua please ni Mungu alikusukuma but i pray kwamba hapo wa jamani pokeni injili ya Yesu Yesu anarudi please do the most you can do na maisha yako Nywele maisha yangu sasa hivi ruhusi kusema urongo. Mbona <laughs> siwe? Yesu anakuja. Ni ile kama utakufa kufa kwa Yesu Kristo. Haleluya. Rafiki kifanyika utakuwa mbele yangu in case mimi nitakuwa live. Mnachukuliwa kwanza mnapaa. Tutakuta na mabinguni tukienda. Mimi sina plan na sina provision na backslide. Sina Namba Mungu anisabia haki maana afundisheni ukweli. Mbona asiwe? Bwana atukuzwe. Hakuna mtu mwanamke ambaye ni nimemchukua kama mke wangu. Hakuna. Hakuna mwanamke ambaye nimewahi kusitoki yeye tu niwe mahali. Hakuna. Hakuna mwanamke katika nyumba ambaye nimewahi kuongelea na lugha nyingine ya kukutamani. Please hakuna. Na hakuna mwanamke ambaye nimewahi kumwambia wacha mke wako wala mwanamke ambaye nimwambia wacha huyo ume. I teach you the word choose for yourself. Bwana asifiwe. Na kama mwacha mwanaume kamoa mwacha kivya kutumikia Yesu nisikuone ukitongozwa na mwanaume mwingine. Hii huduma hii we don't advocate for women to change husbands and husbands to change wives. We don't. Jana ile sikitika sababu kwa usiku wa jana niliona mwanamke anafanya usharati na kanisa hii i said oh god nikawa na hiyo macho napewa nikaona shirika wa wa shirika wa chini ya kavu hiyo kufanya usharati moja Ai, kasema nyasai. Hata mke wangu ni maafa kwa kinyongelesha kitu. <laughs> kwa namuitikia absent mind because kwa macho ya kiroho na napewa na tendo la washarati. Say ai. Nani huyu? Unajua some of them have the gacha kuja kwa madhabahu. Hmm. moja na hayo bado lazima nibaki niwe na moyo kwa hubiria na mtu kama wewe ni mhubiria kanisani nisimfukuze bado 
Tuishi ni maisha ya utakatifu. Hii kanisa please there is no profiling ya makabila. Isiwahi julikana na kupatikana. Tusiwetenge watu na makabila yao. Mm-mm. Tusifanyeni kitu kama hiyo. We mturkana, we masai, we mu, we vule muhinde alikuja hapa, muhinde mwenyewe kichwa chake kaharibika, akaenda kwingine. Hii <laughs> kanisa inakaribisha watu sampuli yote. Never profile anybody kulingana na kabila yake. Bwana asifiwe. If someone knows English na mwingine hajui, please that one is not a requirement here. Kama ulisoma na uko soma ukifika hapa tunatoshana. Donge. Tunatoshana. Haleluya. Uwe na PhD ama uwe na certificate hata wengine hawana hiyo vitu. Please ukifika hapa we are the same. Ama ule ni chemist ni kula kama mzungu na mwangalia mzungu na mpimia naombea mzungu mambo mengine special. There are things mambo mengine kuota. Uliona? When I prayed for all of you all of you mnaombea the same. Kwa ni na moyo kama wewe. Haleluya. Please kama uji mtu akutumia kujipima naomba tu kwa isani ya Mungu. Munitumie mimi kama kipimo. I'm a good pastor. Haleluya. Si kule pesa ya haramu. Na sipokee pesa ya bure. Sikubali. Imenisaidia kuchunga mafuta. Bado nina mafuta ya Bwana. Mimi naombeni Mungu awasaidieni mfanikisha hatima mtokee kama watu ambao Yesu akiwaangalia anafurahi na Yesu akitembelea anaambia naona unalinda kondoo hiyo tu na Mungu awasaidieni haleluya i must go back and, uh, and rest nilikuja kuwafundisheni Sifu watangi pesa vile nafulisha watoto. Hawa watoto ni watoto wa Yesu. Lisheni wao chakula. Wafundisheni kuvaa nguo nzuri. Walimu investigate watoto wamevaa vizuri. Unanuka makojo, waende kwa bathroom waoge. Sabuni ya kuoga ipeanwe. Mafuta ya kujipaka, nununi mafuta ya ngombe, mwapatie. Bwana asifiwe. Some of them wazazi wao ni machafu kwa sababu wazazi wao ni maskini. Eh matrons ambao mnafunisha watoto kuanzia na Salome, all children must be clean. Wenye nywele zao ziko mbaya, please see something to do about it. Watengenezwe vizuri. Let's make a difference kwa wao for the remaining how many weeks? So you need two weeks or three weeks. Bwana asifiwe. Jehovah atajibu maombi yenu. Maombi afunga siku mia moja. E, utakuwa majiokoa. Just do something good kwa watoto. Watakukumbuka wakaenda nyumbani kwao. Watakuwa nakutaja teacher. Mimi saizi glow ninaambia, teacher alisema, teacher alisema, oh teacher alisema. Sehe. Alisema utupe 10 bob. Mhm. Teacher alisema excess book. Mhm. Teacher alisema saa mbili kamili tuwe kwa darasa. Mhm. Baba mpaka mtoto amesema ndio pasta. Anaambia teacher ali Daddy driver hajakuja kutubeba na gari. Tutafikaje kanisani? Teacher alisema tumeshwa tumefika on time. I say oh. Paka naraja matacha fulani na majina yao memory. What image utaacha kwa mtoto? Mimi miaka yangu karibu miaka hizi imeenda. Bado nabuka mwalimu wa Sunday school. Leave a good impression kwa watoto. What their parents have been doing poorly, please correct na Mungu atakusaidia. Haleluya. Mungu atawapatia utajiri. Haleluya. Atawapea. Mwisho ni upande wa mavazi. Um, sofa na furahia eh, Jacqueline. Wewe ni mtifu. Tena sana nimekuona. Mavazi yako yale mabaya umeacha sote. Sasa unavaa vizuri. Moyo wangu nakupenda sababu wewe ni mtiifu. Mimi I don't care vile ulizaliwa. I don't care your tribe. Hata vile ulisoma, I just know kwamba wewe umeamua kufuata Yesu. Atoka na unangangana mapacha wawili hapa kanisani. 
Je, kuna siku nililia kwa ajili yako? Mungu aliniambia una chakula. Huwezi nunua, huwezi eh, nunua hivi tunaitwa nini? Hizi za watoto hizi. Ba, eh. Eh? Diapers. Nilieni kanua diapers yako. Nakupea. Nilikuwa na siku uchungu watoto wako unakuja na kwa majiko jolea. Au lakini umepita mtiani sofa, hujai hapa kanisa. Unakuja nao wajiko jolea wa majitapikia umwaleta leo hii Mungu amekurembesha hmm? so mpige bwana Yesu makofi huyo hmm. dada is one of the <laughs> currently I'm yani kwa side is among us wale manabi loyal kanisani atafuti kujulikana he doesn't seek my attention huyu I've taken her the way she is. Yes, I can kuja saa hii kipimo changu mimi kama pasta. You should be among us watu wale wakwenda mbinguni. Kipimo changu kama mchungaji. Naomba tunipate watu wa minifu. Mungu tu anisaidie nipate watu wa minifu. na watu mna nivunja moyo sana. Na watu nimetoka na nyinyi mbadi sana. Tena sahi watu kama hao wanasaliti mwito na huduma. <sighs> Kini Mungu na waangalia. Kuna watu na walipia rent. Nimesomesha watoto wenu. Na wavalisha nguo. Na wavalisha chakula. Na kana nyinyi nikisikiza shida zenu. Nafunga chakula nikawaombea. Pesa za Mungu na waaminia wengine wenu. Lakini ampendezi. nimeangangana nyinyi sana alafu wengine wenu mnanisaliti nalipa bill za shule za hospitali wale waaminifu Mungu atawalipa kidogo wala ambao wamekuja kuharibu huduma Amu tafanikiwa. Wala ambao kulikuwa mwona Yesu wanaona onyango. Udumazi mulikuwa mbali, muliaribiwa. Wachungaji wa bayo wali wapora. Mimi mnajikaza. Hili mutokea mwona kwe de munga na watumishi wazuri. Lakini hamuoni. Hmm? Mnanipea mateso. Nafanya bidi. Kini wangina wananifudisha nyuma. Wala ambao watakubali kubadilika. Badiliken. Wala ambao mnafanya kazi mzuri fanyeni. Kini kuna watu ambao Yesu alikuja saa hii wako kwa laini mzuri ya toba Yesu atawachukua Lakini wanafiki hakuna mali mnaenda
wala ambao mnajikaza badilikeni mujikaze uwe watu wazuri uwe watu wazuri <sighs> baba uisheme lele asante kwa ajili ya nafasi tumesemezana baba hawa ni watu wako nimekuwashia watu hao naomba Mungu kwamba wao watu wasimalizie vibaya madhabao hii kuna ingia na watu ambao wanatumwa kuharibu naomba Yesu usiruhusu hiyo naomba kazi yangu Yesu isiende bure naomba Bwana unitie moyo siku zote na wale ambao wanafanya kazi nzuri pia Yesu watie moyo. Kwa mafundisho haya Yesu namba roho wako azidi kutukumbusha mafundisho haya. Naomba Bwana ukatukuka. Kwa Yesu Kristo naomba. Amen.